Hello and welcome to a new edition of True Audio Files. I'm Jim Carter. <laughs> uh, so this week is going to be kind of a short episode. Uh, no sound quality shootout this time. Uh, I think I've done, what, five or six in a row. Although next week there might be a sound quality shootout with uh, oh, something behind me here. Uh, just got that today. It's a uh, reissue of Queensryche Operation Mindcrime, which is probably one of, if not my favorite albums of all time. And all the previous versions of that record have been on one record. And this new one that's remastered has been put out on spread over two LPs. So hopefully the remaster is done well and uh, it sounds good because they split it up over two LPs. Time will tell. So anyways, what am I here to talk about today? Well, you already know by looking at the, the title, I'm sure. But basically talking about buying from the artist's website. And quite frankly, I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> and I can, I'll tell you a couple of reasons why. One of the mi big misconceptions out there that I think just about everybody assumes is that the artist actually makes more money if you buy it from their direct website, which is completely false in probably 90% of the cases because they basically sell through a company. They basically have another retailer selling and shipping the product for them. You know, like let's say Warner Brothers might hire a company to ship and sell all the product for them. You know, it's uh, it's so it's not actually the label the label is basically hiring out a a company a third party company if you will to uh, to sell and ship the product for the artist even though it's you know starting out on the artist direct website so they're really not making any more money off of it so really the only at least that's my understanding if you guys know anything different please let me know but uh I'm about 99% sure that that's the case because I know for a fact that they go through some sort of a third party to sell their product to ship to you. But whether uh, whether they make more money off of it as opposed to going through like an independent record store or something, I'm not sure. But anyway, so there's that. Uh, so really, in my opinion, if that's the case, the really the only advantage to going to the to the artist's website is to get you know special limited edition exclusive titles or you know variations of an album you know like maybe they'll have a special limited colored edition or a signed edition of the record or the cd or whatever it is you're wanting to buy uh, that would probably be the only wet thing i can think of or any reason that i can think of um to go directly to the artist site uh and i'll tell you why <laughs> Number one, the one thing that kind of bothers me the most, and I would as hope and assume that it wouldn't be this way because you're buying directly, supposedly, from the artist, is, you know, they're shipping it on street date in most cases. I've seen some rare exceptions where they don't, but for the most part, they ship at street date. So if street date was, you know, let's say in the case of today, uh, Friday, this last Friday, you know, which was the 25th. If it, the release date was the 25th, they'll ship it typically on the 25th. Sometimes they'll ship it a day or two earlier, but my experience has been most of the time, most of the time, they ship on release date, which means you're not getting it for probably close to a week or longer, depending on how uh, you had it shipped and where it's shipping from. Because there's always the case like... Um, I've had a couple of such scenarios where I've ordered from a web artist website and it's shipping from UK, which means you aren't getting it for two or three weeks easy. And a matter of fact, there's one right now that I'm waiting for that was released on June 11th and I still have not received it yet. So they really, they shipped it on release day, but it shipped from London. So, or England. So anyway, so that's probably the biggest thing for me. But the second one also is in most cases, Never been a big fan of how they package them. And I, I know you probably, if you spend any time on social media, you probably see a lot of complaints about packaging and how things get damaged in shipping and so on and so forth. And I mean, it, it's one of those things that's true. Um, you know, the packaging is not necessarily, especially from the artist websites, rarely found them to be spectacular. I've been fortunate where I haven't had 
any serious issues, thankfully, um, because the, the last part of my, my thing is the exchange and return policies that they have in comparison to maybe an independent record store or Amazon or Target or, or someone like that. Um, their customer service response is not anywhere near as fast as one of those companies who basically, you know, do this stuff probably more often and obviously better <laughs> than uh, whoever they're using for a third party from the artist's website. So, I know, that's my take. I mean, if they were definitely getting more money to the artist uh, for buying the item at, on the artist's website, I would definitely always buy it there. But I'm quite certain that that's not the case. I'm quite certain that the artist gets just as much no matter where you're getting it from. Uh, so, in that case, you know, unless you're buying a super limited edition exclusive title from the, the website or a signed copy of it or anything like that, I don't know, I, I wouldn't buy from the, the artist website, but that's just me. You know, there's also Bandcamp and things like that, which I think are a little bit better, and I've definitely had decent success with them, and they actually are very similar to Amazon, where, you know, Amazon sometimes will give you the option to download the vinyl, the album that you bought on vinyl, on record, as an MP3, as MP3s, so you can listen to it portably. And Bandcamp does that too, which is really cool, because what's even cooler is they give you a lossless version of it. Sometimes it's high res too, so it's pretty cool if you buy from them. You do have that flexibility too, which I really, really like. So Bandcamp I'm kind of cool with, but artist websites... Stay away if you, ha if, you, if you can, unless you absolutely need to buy from them, because it just takes forever to get stuff from them. And Customer service is awful if you ever run into an issue, and the artists, and to my knowledge, don't get paid anymore. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on that? Please leave your comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about it. If you liked the video, please you know hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you... Uh, if you liked what you saw also i really love to get your sub um to my subscriber rate up there that would be pretty awesome and you can also follow me on social media i'm on instagram twitter and facebook and the links for those are going to be down below that's uh that's everything i have for today you know if you want to ask about some of these new releases that you see up here please feel do, feel free to do so in the comment section below also and uh, i'll probably put some more information about them on my facebook page or facebook twitter and instagram pages uh during the week as well so thank you very much and you have a great one